Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Hex Token Channel. I thought I'd highlight the story. Ethereum price flash crashes to $950 on Uniswap as the whale dumps 93,000 ETH. Just shows you uh, some of the extreme events that can happen uh, even in a downtrend when the price is moving down anyway. Uh, and of course you can get these uh, massive moves uh, even if they get bought up for a while. Uh, Ethereum's around just under $1,200 at the moment. Uh, but of course uh, this flash crashed all the way down to 950. Uh, so pretty crazy stuff there. Uh, so Ethereum whale there. This is 10 hours ago, this article too, as well dumps 93,000 Ethereum there. Uh, ETH managed a sharp rebound after falling to some $950, but the ETH USD bearish continuation setup uh, could have be, uh, could have it revisited uh, later on. Yeah, uh, we're definitely just under $1,200 at the moment. And you can see that on uh, Coin360 there at 1162. Uh, so pretty crazy stuff. Ethereum's native token Ether uh, fell to as low as 950 on Uniswap, a decentralized crypto exchange. Uh, this is June the 13th, and of course around about 20% lower than its spot rate across other exchanges, so pretty incredible uh, as well. Uh, you can see the red, the, the red dip there, the flash crash there, pretty crazy stuff there. Over 130 million ETH sold in six hours. The incident happened at around 3 a.m. UTC time after a whale dumped 65,000 ETH for multiple stables. Coins include USDC, Tether, and DAI. A piece of evidence noted that the whale sold its ETH holdings to pay off nearly $73 million worth of debt at Oasis.app, a DeFi lending platform. The duration of the sell off saw ETH liquidity. The liquidation price dropped from $1,200 to $875. Pretty crazy stuff there. So uh, DC if here goes, I think so. On liquidation, someone's selling collateral to pay off debt uh, from the looks of it. So pretty crazy stuff there. And we've got uh, the vault there, decreased multiple. Sold at 65,000 ETH there. Did outstanding 126 uh, million die, uh, 53 million die there. So pretty amazing stuff. Um, and increased multiple there, 24,000 ETH there. Uh, 75, 9 million die, 126 million die there. So some pretty crazy stuff there. The Oasis borrower continued the selling spree, dumping uh, another stash of nearly 28,000 Ethereum five hours after the first sell off to pay back another $32 million in debt. This time, the liquidation price rose from $892 to $1,200, the shown below. Uh, so you can see that there. Uh, some pretty crazy, crazy stuff there in the prices. So uh, crazy, crazy. As a result, uh, the whale dumped uh, uh, around 93,000 ETH within just six hours. The amount equals uh, roughly uh, $112 million. Uh, at the uh, June the 13th ETH USD prices, so huge, huge, huge. Just shows you that even the big whales can get themselves caught out uh, by these retraces here. Uh, interesting, the Oasis uh, borrowers' uh, total standing debt was under, about 120 million, as measured in Dai stablecoin, suggesting that the whale suffered heavy slippage losses too. Uh, some pretty crazy stuff there. 134 million dollars of liquidity too. Well, ETH USD just whipped to 950 dollars. What the heck? Uh, what is this happening? Yeah, so uh, pretty crazy stuff there uh, as well. Um, the ETH price eyes $667. Veteran analyst says uh, ETH, ETH trip to $950 brief, suggesting adequate demand for the token near the level. Uh, nevertheless, a one separate analyst from veteran trader Peter Brandt pointed uh, at ETH price falling below $650 in the coming weeks. Brandt's bearish outlooks emerged out of a classic continuation pattern that the descending triangle, which resolves with the price breakouts in the direction of the previous trend. Uh, uh, since ETH was falling uh, before uh, the triangle's formation, its path to less resistance was skewed to the downside. Uh, that's obviously with that uh, the sell there. So that's kind of the price limitation there. Uh, next target, 667. Uh, so some pretty great stuff there. Brent said that ETH had reached the triangle's first downside target of 1268. That's that one there. Uh, as the price declined 20 percent, he anticipated the decline to continue, with ETH dropping almost by another 50 percent to 667 dollars. Uh, of course, BDC uh, also another 50 percent drop would get it down to Richard Hart's target of 11,000. Uh, nevertheless, ETH sold, oversold relative strength index or RSI could lead to a sharp price reversal. Ethereum picks. Uh, additional uh, rebound cues from the 200 uh, week simple moving average uh, near 1200 uh, now serving as support uh, which is uh, slightly below that now as we can see price is slightly under that 1158 at the moment uh, if ETH undergoes an upside an upside retracement then tokens interim bill target could be near 1450 coinciding with the one fib, uh, line of the Fibonacci retracement uh, graph drawn from around 1450 swing high to $84 uh, swing low Conversely, a decision to close uh, close below the 200 
uh, moving small, uh, SMA uh, could have EFI $920 as its next downside target. So that's definitely in play now, in my view. Uh, so uh, cool, interesting stuff there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that quick five minute update. Uh, that was a pretty, pretty cool story. And uh, always good to you know see these events happen in real time as part of uh, learning experience. Hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.